Hey Webbers, I'm Andy and welcome to the web venue. Today we're going to be unboxing some roaches. Obviously as you can tell here there's a tote with a bunch of egg crates and this is obviously where they're going to be living but right now they're in the box. Let's check them out. All right, here's the box. I already opened it so that I could take my address out and so I can make sure that they were alive. They're all good. There's a lot in here in this little tiny box, but let's look inside and see how these roaches are doing. Oh. Oh, there's a lot in there. You can see a male right there with the wings. A lot of females. There's another male. Wow. There's a carrot there they're eating. Looking pretty good. All right. Now we need to get them to their home. They're looking pretty good in there. They're kind of not. They're kind of not liking the light too much. <laughs> get this box out of here. It's trash. Um. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but they're making a lot of noise. Uh, these are Turkestan roaches. I'm not exactly sure their Latin name, but I'll have it on the screen right now. Uh, Turkestan roaches are well known for being in the tarantula and I guess other arachnid uh, feeding. They um, are good feeder roaches. And since they are not from where I live, if any were to escape, I wouldn't have to worry. They're feeder roaches and they come from the Middle East. And I live in Michigan, which if you don't know, is rather cold. So if these guys were to get out, I wouldn't have to really worry about infestation. They'd more than likely die out. So that makes it even better for me. But I can tell right now that they're really wanting to get out of this cup. <laughs> Yeah, we got some feeder roaches. It's a colony of 260 in here, but the seller said he added plus 10%, so there's probably around 300 in here. But yeah, they seem really eager to get out of this container. I can hear them scurrying around. It's quite noisy. I don't know if you can hear them, but they're really loud. I don't think they like it in here. Let's put them in their home. Well, little buddy. All right, so here's their home, and I'm about to put them in here. Uh, they have got egg crates, which they'll use as, um, it's kind of like their home. It's kind of like where they'll hide and it's, it's a good, it's a good, I don't know how to say it. It's a good medium for them to, uh, do what they got to do. So that's why I have the egg crates in here. And that's why they have the egg crates in here is because they, the egg crates is a good, it's a good place for them to live. They like it. So I'm going to open this. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put these guys in here in their new home and hopefully we don't have any escapees let's see if i can get this open without any trouble oh here goes the tape right they're looking like they really want out of this thing all right guys we'll get in your home soon enough calm down All right, I think it's ready to be opened. Let's see how they how they handle their new home. All right, let's zoom in. So you guys can see this better here. Focus. <laughs> you guys can hear them smacking it then. Come on. No escapees. And there it goes. 
<laughs> All right, so they're in. You can see them. All right, let's see if I can't get that uh, that lid out of there. All right, so we got an empty empty container here. There's some dead roaches in there, but that's to be expected. But this is useless. Clean this up later. Let's see how they're doing. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm gonna use this crate. I'm gonna shake this egg crate off, get all the roaches out, and then put it in here, and then, you know, toss this out. Let's get this egg crate out of here. Hey, you guys don't need this no more. Hey, get off. Also, their food doesn't go here. It goes in there. I'll show you guys that later. But you guys need to get off the egg crate. I know you're keeping your babies in here, but you gotta get off the egg crate. Now look at that, I just broke the egg open. Take you guys off this tripod here, so I can show you up close. Look at those guys in there. Still hiding in their original egg crate. I kinda have to get them all out eventually. But they're just chilling in there. <sighs> also, they're completely harmless by the way. It's time for you to leave your home, roaches. You got a new home. Hey, little buddy. You're gonna have to get out of there, buddy. Get out of there. Little buddy pal. There's a couple fighters in here. All right, where are the stragglers at? You guys gotta get out of here. You gotta go in your new home. Oh, I think one just fell. <laughs> You've been evicted. It's time to leave. You got a new home now. It's time to get out. Look at that. That's the last few guys in there. See them in there? They're hiding. So this is a defensive thing they're doing. They're trying to hide in the crevice there. But they can't get away from me. You got a new home to get to, buddies. It's better than this trash you're in right now. Get out. There's one straggler left. Buddy. Buddy. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Buddy. Yeah, there you go. Hey, hey, hey. The last nymph. Hey, where is he? Where'd he go? Hey. There he is. He went to another hiding spot. There he is. There he is. Where does he think he's going? Hey. You gotta join your brothers and sisters. Hey. Hey buddy, hey get out of there. There he goes. I think that's it. I think all 300 roaches that were in here and in here are now in their new home, which is good. Let me just get rid of this junk. 
Put the lid on. There you go. 10 minutes ago, this thing was full of roaches. Now, it's completely empty. There's a few dead roaches in the bottom there, but completely empty. I'll take care of this later. Now, we have a tote filled with roaches. Can't really see them. They're all hiding. Uh, if you look, there's one on that carrot right there, having a having a feast. Let's see if I can't get some pictures. All right, let's see how they're doing in their new home. Ah, looks like they're setting in a okay. Uh, I don't think they like me bothering them. So, it seems the roaches are setting into their new home just fine. I've got an empty container to deal with, and I've got to, to feed these guys. But, uh, you know, it's looking good. They're all hiding right now, so you can't really see that many of them. But they're in there for sure. There's 300 roaches in here somewhere. Uh, but let me describe to you how this is going to work. We've got this tote here with smooth sides. Now the roaches, they can climb this. They can climb the egg crates, but they can't climb smooth stuff like this. So they can't escape. I don't have to worry about any of that. And so they'll just, they'll just climb around in here and do their business in here. And then down here we have, I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of out of focus. This bowl over here is their food bowl. And this bowl over here is where I'll keep their, their water crystals and stuff so they'll be able to drink. And then this obviously will be Casa Roach, Hotel Roach. This is their home. But aside from that, I think they've dealt with me messing with them enough. I think, I think they're tired of looking at bright lights and I think they want to get back to doing their business and setting into their new home. So you know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let them do their business. Putting the lid on. As I said, they can't climb out, so I'm not really worried about that. I'm not worried about my cats getting in and then the roaches getting out. So that's why. Also, there's a screen here that I put on. It's so they can obviously get air while the cap's on. I think they're gonna enjoy their new home. I think they're gonna thrive in there, and I think they're gonna be the great feeding species that I need for the teas that are coming very soon. But on that note, that pretty much wraps up this video. I unboxed some Turkestan roaches, I moved them into their home, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked, if you enjoyed at all, if you learned anything, Maybe leave a like on the video, maybe subscribe to the channel because I'll have more roach videos coming up and soon I'll have the spiders coming in and possibly a few other surprises. But until then, that's pretty much it. You can follow the web venue on Facebook, Twitter, Minds, and Instagram. I'll be posting regularly on all four and updates on the animals and how they're doing, including the roaches, the springtails, the spiders, and other animals, of course. I'll be posting all of that on any of those for social medias including YouTube and if you're at all interested or want to follow my journey with these animals at all that's where you can follow me but aside from that thanks for watching and I'll catch you Webbers later